The Titanic was the largest passenger ship in the world at the beginning of the 20th century. This enormous ocean liner was designed by Thomas Andrews and built by Harland and Wolfe in Belfast in what is today Northern Ireland. Construction started in 1909 and the ship was launched in 1911. This pride of the White Star Line entered service in 1912. She was nearly 30 meters wide and 270 meters long and weighed over 53,000 tons. The steel plates of the external shell were fastened by about 3 million rivets. The power plant of the Titanic consisted of 29 boilers, two four-cylinder steam engines, and one steam turbine, which drove three bronze propellers, two three-bladed propellers on each side, and a four-bladed propeller in the center. The turbines and steam engines had a combined output of 50,000 horsepower and produced a speed of over 22 knots, or 40 kilometers per hour. The enormous hull was divided into several decks. The funnels and the masts holding the wires to the radio telegraph system were above the level of the upper deck. The communication system consisted of two individual Marconi radio telegraphs and the captain's bridge was located in front of the first funnel. The ship carried only 20 lifeboats, four of which were collapsible. The passengers of the luxury ship were served by a crew of about 900. The ship's maiden voyage was to lead from Southampton, England, through Cherbourg, France, and Queenstown, today Cove, Ireland, to New York. However, at 11.40 p.m. on the 14th of April, 1912, she hit an iceberg on the Atlantic Ocean, broke in two, and sank two and a half hours later. The total number of people who lost their lives in the disaster was 1,517, or 1,494, according to certain sources. It is still the subject of much debate who was or were responsible for the loss of the Titanic. The tragedy has inspired numerous books, films, and works of art over the decades since then.